find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. I'm hosting on the other show. Hey guys, it is the awesome cast. I'm here, Mike Sork, here in Slice on Broadway, here in Pittsburgh, PA. Woo! Woo! Everybody's enjoying it, although we have like, well, you got some over there. Hold on, Doug's, Doug's got some. Hold, hold them up. What do you got over there? Gonzo. Gonzo. Which is now officially a button on the register system, so you can get it. Normally, <laughs> it's a, a hoagie. Any of their hoagies, you can get us a pizza. And because we've ordered it so much, it's now on their menu system. We've kind of forced the menu. <laughs> <laughs> that shows how long, how much we go here. Uh, but this is the 200th episode. We've been doing this. I looked uh, the upload date on episode one. I was watching earlier today via Chromecast. That's in, that, that's it's not worth putting on a HD TV. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, J- June 3rd, 2010. Wow. So we've officially been doing this for four years. Wow. <laughs> well, some of us. I mean, you, you, you've, I mean been, was, you've been doing things. I was around for a while. You're, you're for a bit, you know. I'm OG. I'm OG. I mean, awesome the whole cast. thing was your idea. Rob De La Creta is with us, <laughs> if you don't remember him. <laughs> yeah, you've been doing a lot of stuff. Iron Tank, right? Very busy. Anything you can talk about? Sure. Um, <laughs> just uh, last week, we launched something that we've been working on for like a year. Um, so uh, for Vice and Samsung last summer, we did a thing in New York City, where we gave people the opportunity to launch uh, real fireworks from Android Yes, phones. I saw that video. Uh, so that started our relationship with Pyrotechnico, uh, which is based out in uh, New Kensington, mm-hmm. which is the fireworks capital of the United States. New Ken, really? Yeah, because Pyrotechnico is out there and Zambelli's out there. Huh. And both of those do more fireworks than anybody else in the world. Nice. Um, Newcastle? Newcastle, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I do that more chronically, sense. actually. <laughs> Anytime I talk to anybody, like it's new. Something. Ken? It's the one that's mm. further and. Mm. Why are you waving? I have a question for Sora, and I was hoping not to have stopped. Her. She has a question. <laughs> Just a question. What? Four years. Four years. Twenty. Twenty ten. Four years. Four years. Four years. Yeah, that sounds Four. right. You're that. checking my math. Four Thank more you. years. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, is this the election time? So, or should we be campaigning? Yes. Oh no. So anyway, Newcastle, um, fireworks capital of the of the United States. Um, so we are uh, so we have a relationship with Pyrotechnico, and we were able to build a thing, which is uh, it's called the Pyro Orb. It's a six foot helium filled beach ball essentially, but inside that beach ball is a uh, dodecahedron of uh, ultra bright LEDs. There's 60 LEDs on the ball. Each one is individually addressed. Wireless communication to the ball and from the ball. So it lights up the ball with these crazy patterns that I can send on the fly out in the crowd, but I also receive sensor data back from the ball, and that sensor data I hook directly up to pyrotechnic fixtures and devices. Jeez. So when we launched it at PyroFest, I had it hooked up to two, um, they're called salamanders. They are flame pots. They shoot a 30-foot tall propane flame into the air. Um, so it's when people hit the ball. When you hit the ball, so I had, uh, there's an accelerometer in the ball, and so when somebody gave the ball a good hit, you would see flames pop up on either side of the stage. Nice. It was pretty crazy. There was like 16,000 people there, I think. So so how long did it take you uh, there to, to combine your passions of technology and, and, and pyromania? I mean, what happened, like the way we ended up working with pyro is we were at lunch with an agency who had worked with Pyro and we joked around about how I like fireworks and we're good at building things and somebody was like, oh, interactive fireworks would be a good, a cool thing. And my developer and I, being the nerds that we were, we were like, oh, we can do that. Yeah, because this, I, I, I know the video I saw, like there was a, uh, uh, some DJ was playing, right? And there was fireworks, and, and, and I think he had buttons that he could he could press uh-huh. to make fireworks go off as he's performing. And then yeah. again, there were there were these uh, Samsung phones just kind of laid out, right? Like, yeah, Samsung Galaxy S4s. There was uh, 20 of them out in the audience. You would go up to it as uh, somebody just attending this free event. 
Uh, it would say you're up next, and when the timer ran out, you could choose the color of your firework, the shape of your firework, and how many of them there were. So you can nice. do, like, I want a red bombette in, like, a three cross, and there's a big red fire button. The moment you hit that button, your firework goes up in the air. And it was actually nice. so fast. We were so worried about lag, and it was too fast <laughs> because he would hit the button and then look up. And at that point, there was just a smoke cloud. It had already gone. So we had to tell people, no, look up, look up. <laughs> But uh, so wow. so Pyro Orb is going to be we, we have a lot of conversations about Pyro Orb coming up. Nice. We're going to be rolling it out to EDM festivals and all kinds of crazy nonsense in the in the coming year. Awesome. And uh, we also have with us Cynthia Klosky. Hello. How you doing? Big big design. Uh, I am fine, and big big design is also well. <laughs> we, and also Doug Durda of uh, Should I Drink That. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. We're doing well also. Uh, just had our 100th episode. Okay. Awesome. Eight, eight years, 100 episodes. Kind of took a while, but wow. we finally got to it. Not bad when you're a monthly show or, in our case, uh, every three months, I think we're at right now. But that's yeah, good. It's winter time. You're exactly. busy brewing beer. But uh, of course, uh, if you don't know, this is the awesome cast. We are at, well, awesomecast.com, sorgatronmedia.com. I got to bring up my notes for that now. Um, and you can join us live Tuesdays, not to this week, of course, but we're usually Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Find us on Twitter, at AwesomeCast, awesomecast.sorgatronmedia.com. If you want to email us, we're on iTunes. No, no Roku and Blip TV. We just got the notice for that this week. Um, did you, they, got, they got bought by Maker Studios. They're like, hey, we're now we're going to delete all your videos that you've been putting over here for who's, years. Who's Maker Studios? Uh, I think they got a thing with YouTube. I don't know. Um, anyways, they're like, oh, we're going to delete all your videos here, but please upload all your stuff to YouTube and uh, sign up for our advertising setup or something. So we'll see what that's about. We're also on Spreaker, Stitcher, U YouTube as well. I'm going to start looking at some other places to put videos, so we're going to see about branching that out a little bit. Um, so it's 200 episodes. I can't remember if we did anything for 100. We definitely didn't do anything like this. Um, so I, I went back and watched the first episode of Awesome Cast. That was painful, huh? A little bit, a little <laughs> bit. Um, the camera was facing me. I'll have a little clip here at the beginning of this show uh, when we post it here. Uh, but uh, the, the video was facing me, and I just had that green cloth haphazardly hanging. Mm -hmm. And your Skype wasn't working sure. to go into the Boinks TV we were using at the time, not Wirecast. Hmm. Which is a great app if you want to start like video, you know, switching and stuff. It's a lot cheaper. You can usually pick it up on uh, it was a Mac heist, I think it was. Yeah, you picked sure. it up on there. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Uncle Krabby, Mike Pound, was on the first episode. Huh. And and you were showing off your shiny new couple months old maybe iPad one. And we're wondering how the newspaper business was going to make it. <laughs> wow. I have no idea. Wow. Yeah. Um, beyond that, uh, I, I, I pulled up some other uh, uh, little tidbits because it, it started just kind of going to random episodes afterwards. Like I jumped to like episode like 74. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, spinning cube in the corner. Oh, you see yeah. it on an upper left corner. It's just a still. And there's uh, AJ who's uh, joined us on the show several times. A lot of people missed the spinning cube, but I couldn't bring that over to Wirecast. That was a, oh. Boink, as a Boinks TV feature. And, uh, and of course, I, I miss my giant array of monitors. You don't have that anymore. I don't have that anymore. When did anymore. you get rid of that? Um, a while ago. Probably about 100 episodes ago. Really? I feel like. Uh, round about. Huh. It's been spread out more. And I actually put the couch across from me so I can look like at the person right. that's, that's in the studio. Right. So uh, I mean, so the last time I was there was when I lost the key to my motorcycle. That I finally gave back to you. I, I got it today. Which I don't see you much, so, you know. You know, um, no words. <laughs> episode 29, we had Rob Meyer of No Wait, and I mentioned, uh, I think I last week, who just I saw on stage at Alpha Lab uh, Demo Day, and they just. Oh, you were at Demo Day. I was at Demo Day. Did they plug Ion Tech? They were supposed to. I feel like I. No, I just see Ion Tech. It was on the, the, the sponsors okay. sheet, at least. Um, I, mean, I'm not, I don't remember if they mentioned them on stage, but they just closed $10 million in a, in a funding deal, Series B mm -hmm. uh, uh, funding for startups. So uh, there you go, a little bit of awesome, awesome cast bump. Um, 
maybe a little bit. Um, and also, uh, uh, I, this was another one, uh, episode 20. Remember when we went on location after watching The Social Network? Uh, was I for that? Was yeah, that, that was the coffee shop. Oh, well, I mean, it was on location as in we, we were at Caribou. Yes. You, did so I it wasn't you, like insult the other and storm out. The on location was we we <laughs> were at a coffee like shop. The social network. The girlfriend insults the right. guy and storms out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's the first. No, we didn't. Uh, we just had Malenga with us. Oh wow. That was rather casual. Mm. So, um, and of course the other live shows we've done from uh, Pod Camp, sure. and there was an era where Chachi switched the show. Huh? He switched the video, so I could go sit on the couch for a while. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work too long. No. So. Um, so anyways, uh, let's get to, uh, what we usually do. I know we kind of brought you guys in here kind of late here. Last so we'll, minute. Well, a little bit last minute. Uh, chill had to go since we had a little bit of tech problems as happens with the podcast. Nothing new. What does he have to do that's more important than this? He has a kid. What does he have to do that's more important okay. than this? Um, <laughs> so, uh, so let's, let's do your awesome things of the week. Uh, uh, mine was Google stories and I'm going to bring up uh, a little bit here. Have you guys checked this out? Have you guys heard of this? I don't even know what you're talking about. It actually freaked me out the first time I saw it. Tell me more. Really? I, I wasn't expecting it. And it documented the, uh, the class trip that my, my little son t school went on. And when I got home, I, I had this notification. So I'm going through my, my G+, and it says, you have a new story. You have a new story. I looked at it, and it tracked. Like, somehow, my location on my phone now is turned on. And it tracked me from the time we left his preschool all the way to the zoo. What? stuff we did through the zoo and hmm. then back to the preschool well it's probably it's probably taking the gps tags from the photos yeah well, I, I, have G- turned I had gps turned off oh that's weird so now i have to look at it that's and weird figure out where it's leaking you well it was weird too because it knew almost where in the zoo i was at when i was taking the photos which mm-hmm. kind of freaked me out but huh and it was because it, it was auto uploading the photos. I always do that now ever since I, I lost photos before. Every so, take is auto uploading. So today is the first time I kind of stumbled across them. And here's a little peek at uh, one of them. This is from uh, about a month ago, uh, over a month ago, uh, back on April 12th when I went up to Meadville for a wrestling show. And it's got a nice little cover, you know, mosaic thing. And then you pop in there Ooh. and it actually says, hey, you were in Meadville. I guess that's your uh, your cap- capital Meadville building or whatever. Here's Chachi with the porta potty um, And there's the Delaney's. There's me with the ring. And it goes through pretty much my night with just the selfies of me with the band. That's weird. Um, some shots of the crowd, any video kind of automatically goes through and if i get to a certain point you get this little thing that pops up and shows when you traveled i went to Uh moon and we shot an interview at a at a hotel and then at the bottom of each of those there's space for like you to add captions and notes right so i can kind of add to it a little bit so like i can go through here and uh this always throws me a little bit where the play is. So I can go through here and say blah blah. I, so, I can I can plus one in. I can add a caption and say Delaney's playing blah blah blah. How how is this? How how did explain to me how your photos got on the internet? Well, I have set up. What's the what's the whole from thing you were carrying? Thing what, I thing I was carrying. iPhone. I, I have this automatically set up to upload to upload Google Plus. To Google Plus. So okay. sending all my photos okay, from my okay. phone automatically to Google Plus. Uh-huh. And then magically this Just happens. Figured everything else based on the metadata. Yeah. 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 If someone else was like in a lot of those photos and you tagged them, would it make a story for them too? I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I got another one here. This is this is a little bit less traveling. That would be but more freaky. Yeah, that'd be a little. Less- See, I only had a, a few of these ago, and I was surprised at how far back they went too, because these are these are all like a month ago, hmm. and this is more just kind of random pictures. But it took out, you know, brought up all the auto auto awesomes and. Um, ported. I mean, GPS data is part of EXIF information on photographs, so as long as the EXIF is there and it has the GPS, you could do this for anything you've ever done ever, really. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just saying. Can you rearrange them and change the layout? I don't know. Chachi looks terrifying in slow motion. I just want to say <laughs> you can uh, you can delete it. Now I'm wondering if you can also add it. So like I can I can X this out and I'll see what it does. Yeah, it just pulls it off. So huh. if, it, if it removes it from the storyline, does it also remove the gallery? No, I think it's just the storyline. You know, everything's not really deleted out like there. Delete things. Just because it's deleted doesn't I just mean it's deleted. Like, when yeah. I make albums, I move stuff around. It's still listed as like a, it's there for it's Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess it doesn't count against your quota also. 
if you move it to a different like, gallery or anything like that or make copies of it, it doesn't actually take off from your quota. Interesting. Yeah, there's a little bit of magic when they start doing the quota stuff. Like, if you do it a certain way, but if you say I want to do full size, they're going to start taking away from your quota, too. So, but I thought it was a cool thing. I, I'm kind of digging, uh, you know, we've seen before uh, when they do the uh, 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 the videos, like, if you ever get a year-end, like, this is your year video. Um, it, 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 they're, they're doing a lot of interesting stuff with their cloud, with your photos. And it's, I, I kind of like it because I'm pretty... Like, I can never remember to, to put together all my albums and Facebook and everything. So I haven't put an album on Facebook in all like these years. No, and I have stuff syncing on there, too. Kind of abandoned that feature. Yeah, it, 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 and so I'm making all my albums on Google where there's hardly anybody who actually follows me. So that's been interesting. Well, the way it's safe. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what about you, Rob? Do you have an awesome thing? Do I have an awesome thing? Do you have an awesome thing this week? So I was reading the doc that you sent me here. I like the whole spreadsheet thing you got going on. Okay. It's very cute. Is that your awesome thing? <laughs> so, <laughs> that we have show notes now? So, that kind of work? Have you tried Google Docs? <laughs> so here's the thing. It says, pick a tip, comma, don't pick your nose, tool, story, or internet thing you think is awesome. So you, what you've told me to do is not pick anything. Who wrote that? Exactly. I didn't write that. I read that and I was like, okay, I get it. Pick a tip. Great. I wrote Don't something pick else your nose and so or any of the things that I would use as, as the awesome thing of the week. So here's my tip. Damn. Fix that. <laughs> <laughs> um, my awesome thing of the week. What do I have for an awesome, awesome thing of the week? Um, Hold I'm, on. I'm fixing the dock. Fix the dock. Okay. I might, uh, I might have an app. Are you sure that's not you? Because you did write butts earlier in this book. Yeah, and then I went and ruined your grammar. No, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. Butts are exclusive. Um, oh, here's the thing. So I'm uh, I'm turning... Uh, you familiar with Sonos? Yes. Right? Yes. Turn your whole house into a multi, multi-level multi audio mixing wonderland. Mm -hmm. So you can say, I'm going to play music from my laptop and I want that to go to the living room and the dining room. I can play music from my iPad. I want that to go to the bedroom. You can mix it all up like that. Yeah. Right? So there's a cheap way to do this, um, which I'm exploring in my house using uh, Airfoil. Have you heard of Airfoil? I've heard of Airfoil. Yeah. So I'm using Airfoil. It's, uh, it's one of those things that I tried uh, maybe two years ago, I think, and it was terrible and it barely worked. Now it just works and it works with everything. You can use... Uh, Anything that supports, uh, you know, the AirPlay format. So you can do, uh, like, an AirShare on a Raspberry Pi. You can add Airport Expresses to your network, which realistically is more effective than using a Raspberry Pi, because when you buy a Raspberry Pi, you buy a $35 Raspberry Pi, an $8 SD card, a $20 wireless card, uh, and then you've effectively bought a $20 Airport Express. Um, or any other computers or whatever. There's an app for your phone. You can just fiddle around and move everything around. So there's, there's my thing. There's a free trial. Uh, rogueamoeba.com. And how much was it? Uh, if you buy it, it's like, what is it, 20, 20 bucks? Yeah, we'll go in here 25 bucks. 25 bucks? 25 bucks for Mac. You can get Mac and Windows for 40 bucks. Save 20%. It's not bad. It just works at this point, which is really nice. I can appreciate that. Awesome. Uh, again, I, I know we, we kind of brought you guys in here last minute. Do you have an awesome thing you'd like to share? I have an awesome thing that I haven't tried yet, so I'm just going to tell you about it, and then I will have to follow up with you. Okay. And it is called Airfoil. And then it's got airfoil. We were just Air talking display. about airfoil. You're talking about something else. Air display. Air display. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> it is called air display. And what it is, is it makes a second monitor for your laptop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you take your phone mm -hmm. and you connect it through the Wi Fi to your, and then, then it's a monitor. Or your iPad. Sure. Or your other iPad. I've used something very similar. I forget what it's called. Redfoil? No. Same technology, though. I, I actually deployed it at a trade show booth for like 12 computers. And it was a small nightmare, but it worked. Well, this might make it easier the next time you have to connect all the computers. Mm -hmm. But so the, the reason why I came across it was someone has a Kickstarter that will let you hook, you know, the, like, your binds thing your there. two things. Yeah, yeah. And hmm. I thought, well, that's useless unless there's an app, and then it turns out there. But they're made by different people. So Air Display, and I will follow up with you and let you know if it stinks. <laughs> I've heard good things about Air Display. I've heard about it for a bit, actually. Cool. So. What? It's really lacking? Laggy. 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 Slow. Oh, I probably, I'd okay, imagine. so it's my one uncool thing. Well, I have a second uncool thing. Okay. Can I have two uncool things added to one cool thing? Sure. 
So I have been doing an awful lot of like business networking lately, which means a lot of exchanging business cards. And like you giving other people your business cards, you just do that mostly so they'll give you yours so that you can use them. Right? Mm -hmm. That's actually, that's the secret of business cards is you want everybody else's. But so then you've got to do something with them. So I have Evernote and Evernote has this tool for scanning them in. And it seems like it's going to be fantastic because you can scan them in and it'll link into LinkedIn and like get the rest of their data and all this stuff. And then as far as I can tell, there is no way to export that information to import into, for example, MailChimp, hmm. which is hmm. where I want. Is it the, the Hello app? No, it's, the Evernote, it's the Evernote, like Pro has it. Has oh, right. Evernote it's itself sure. has yeah. it too. Because yeah. I, I was using the Hello app for a bit. Like I went to, like I actually, I don't know where I went to. It was where I just got a ton of yeah. cards. And uh, it, it's nice, but again, with the Pro, like they'll let you do like five of them before you have to upgrade to the Pro, which is like five bucks a month. It's not bad. Um, but yeah, it seemed interesting. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a... Uh, well, if you, have to, if you have a whole bunch of business cards, I mean, that, what yeah. I really want is a way to make use of it. I mean, whether it's in Evernote or something else, like my whole life is not, not like putting my entire brain into Evernote. That's not where I am right now. But if I am. I am. Oh, unfortunately, I have parts of my brain in Evernote, um, um, Apple Notes, and uh, a couple other places. Well, see, that's smart, because if any of those collapses, you'll have only lost part of your brain. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If, if Evernote goes down, there goes all my bills uh, and receipts. Uh, if notes go down, there's all my like visit, my, like meeting notes and, and my CD duplicator list thing to figure out what letter is which thing. Um, so, uh, so you're avoiding that single point of failure. I think that's exactly. I, I do that. I do that in my business and in my personal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. It seemed like a bug, but it's a feature. Exactly. But so, but I am on in search of a better way to deal with business cards. Awesome. So if there's any tips, let us know. Doug, what about you? I got a complaint. Oh, a complaint. A complaint. I got a complaint. Okay. It's not on the spreadsheet. It's awesome complaint. I have time. Okay. Now it's on the spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> So my phone updated to the latest version of the Droid OS. Droid. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Yeah. And pretty much most of my personal settings are gone. Sweet. Uh, it's asking me now to reset my the pin that I had on there. It wants to force it. Um, I guess Motorola has their own software now for wiping out your phone. Hmm. But actually said, we want you to sign up for this service so that if you have any problems with your phone, you can wipe it out remotely. Basically, what I've already paid for other services to do for me if I need it, but it kind of forced them onto the phone, and uh, the fact that I lost some of my personal settings really just pissed me off. So to go back through it and reset a bunch of things on it. So, Droid people, stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> I'm you off the DVOS, I gotta go. So the tip set my phone and screw stuff up. So the tip is don't buy a Droid. Buy a Droid, just be patient. <laughs> don't buy one with Moto Blur. Don't buy a Moto Blur. No. Yeah, the Razer X HD Max, whatever it is. Remember the Razer first came out? Yeah, it's the, you're talking about the Flip Razer? The Flip Razer? Yeah. Everybody had one? My, my mother-in-law so ran, it, ran it over it with a amazing. car. Yeah. They found it in the parking lot, gave it back, and it worked. Yeah. Yeah. The most common problem was that it was getting broken in people's back pockets because it was too thin. It would crack from huh. the pressure of your butt. But you could run over it with the car. Yeah. And it's fine. Yeah. I think I think they did the wrong testing. On that <laughs> they one. did. In the long run. Wrong one. Wow. Well, um, I do have a cool thing, though. Okay. Well, I, I don't know if you've checked it out yet. Cause it's, you know, I, I'm big on Google Hangouts. They mm -hmm. now have the, the Google Draw feature. Mm -hmm. So that if you're in a Hangout with somebody and they fall asleep, which is a good time to use it, <laughs> you start drawing all over and take screenshots. So it's the digital equivalent of when your buddy would pass out in your dorm room or at a party, and you'd sit there and draw on his face with marker. You kind of do the same thing with Google Hangouts now. Scoot. Is it the Scoot and Doodle? No, that's a user on Google Plus. No, no, that's a it's a uh, game it's, I it's thought. Google is it? Draw is a it's a plugin for the the Hangout. No, I haven't got no. it to work on the on live or, or the on air version, but I've got mm -hmm. it to work with just the regular version. Scoot and Doodle. Scoot and Doodle. That's a good name. On Hangouts. So they, they have games on there now. Scoot it's 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 kind of interesting. Oh, wow. Or if you're familiar with Sprout, there's Doodle and Doodle. Doodle and what? Doodle and Doodle. Doodle, doodle, and, doodle. doodle, doodle, doodle and Doodle. Doodle and Doodle. Not familiar with Sprout. That was not something that got no. talked about in 2010. No. No. When you started doing awesome guys. No, definitely no, not. Not at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, another blast from the past. Uh, Chachi actually shared this over on um, uh, Boss Battle for Insert Coin uh, this week. And uh, it, he brought it up because there's a there's apparently a video game point to this, but uh, apparently 
when Nin Windows 95 came out, Microsoft went to the effort of hiring, uh, was it Matthew Perry? Matthew Perry. And uh, Jennifer Aniston yeah. of Friends fame to teach you how to use Windows 95. I can't even. I saw the cover for the VHS or whatever this was on, and I couldn't believe it. Could this be more ridiculous? Um, I mean, they're trying. Oh really, wait, it does. Let me get to the gamer part. Trying really is hard. She's seriously trying to find the ending key. She's got the ergonomic keyboard though. So there, here's your gamer guy with oh, a bandana, I believe, and a leather vest. And they got a guy that comes in on skateboard, and he's, he's got later like, in this. He could be. Oh, it could be. Boy. boy, it's so fast. Look at that. It's you can yeah. tile your windows. And then, and then we get this one point. Who decides to use this color scheme that's going to pop up here? I remember doing that many times because I thought it was funny when I was a child. Maybe it'll pop up. I saw it in the thumbnail for the. Maybe never. Come on. No, no. This is where it dies. Hey. This is where the internet goes away. The internet's done. Windows ninety five. We're on dial up because Windows ninety eight. See, if you had videos. Windows ninety five, you wouldn't have this problem. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, there, there it is. is. Oh my God! Look at that. With the peace sign. Oh, my Chromecast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? what is that? There was the one that. Oh, was and here's your gamer, and he has a rear view mirror on his helmet. It's joystick. Safety. Joystick. Joystick, joystick Johnny. <laughs> Oh my god. Where's Gates? Where's Gates? Where's Gates? Yeah, so uh, uh Wow. This was apparently on VHS. You, you said you saw the cover. Yeah. And I'm really impressed with the quality. You can't see it uh on, oh, on the screen we have here for the for the broadcast, but uh um it, it whoever captured that like like took care of their, their VHS tapes really mm. good. So mm. okay. um that was magical. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> to the news. To the news. So this was shared by a few different people, uh, but few, first I saw it from uh, wife of the show, Missy. It's a big deal. So have you seen this? Uh huh. Explain to me what is going on here. So um, super easy concept to understand is if we replace all the roads uh, and parking lots with solar panels. Um, which sounds relatively insane, but solar technology in the last few years has come leaps and bounds. And somebody uh, was actually given a, uh, a federal contract to prototype this technology. And it's this guy uh, who's an MCEE electrical engineer, super smart dude, and his wife put together uh, legitimate prototypes, and it works. So uh, they're using a hex hexagonal shape um, to piece the whole thing together. Uh, and it has multiple features in it. Each panel has a microcontroller, has a bunch of LEDs. Uh, the surface has been treated, so it actually exceeds all uh, civil engineering requirements <laughs> for uh, traction and, and that kind of thing. So it has a bunch of bonus features. In addition to providing three times the amount of energy that is currently being used by the entire United States, um, it has LEDs in it, so it can do things, LEDs and pressure sensors. So it can do things like a, if there's an obstruction in the road, it can highlight that obstruction. Uh, it also creates dynamic lane markings. So uh, there's an example they give where if there are two handicapped spaces marked in a parking lot, it's no longer spray painted on the road, it's being displayed by LEDs on these panels. So if two people fill up those handicapped spaces, it doesn't mean that we don't still need handicapped spaces, there should always be one available. So the road can sense that and open up another spot marked with a handicapped insignia. You could huh. sense Next if the car it. is really from a handicapped person and then, that and then yeah. I mean, hypothetically, so I feel like it's a matter of time. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but not all handicapped people are in wheelchairs. Uh, in, in, a, in a future sure. land, there's an RFID chip inside of your license plate that tells it whether or not you're handicapped. You think that's not there already? Well, I know, anyway, it's, I know it's not there yet. But so What do they do if it snows? Uh, so that's the other thing. They can they can heat. That's the part that I've already heard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's super exciting. Uh, they uh, have put elements inside of these panels so they can take the solar energy and use it to heat the roadways, which means no more salt, no more ice. No more shoveling. No more shoveling. No more salt destroying the undercarriage of your vehicles. As someone who drives a 31-year-old truck, this is really exciting to me. <laughs> um... And all kinds of crazy stuff, just like if uh, instead of sort of, uh, I experienced it on the 40th Street Bridge where they have a uh, three-lane scenario where halfway through the day it's two lanes inbound, one lane outbound, and then they'll switch one of the lanes and you have to pay attention to the signs above. Markings right on the road. You can change that 
right on the road. So there's less confusion, fewer accidents. If there's an accident ahead, you can put letters on the road that say, you know, slow down, detour, no more of this stuff overhead. Do they say how, how easy it is to like pick them up and drop them out? Are they like those, you know, carpet tiles where they can just pull, like if you stain one, you can just pull it out and pop one in? Um, I don't know if they address that. I, the yes. size? Yes, they do. Do they? Yep. That, that it would be easily, instead of replacing an entire portion of roadway, for it, it should just be one panel. It could just be one or two panels. Yeah. Necessary. They did address that in the. Yeah, they would have to secure them pretty well because there's people like me out there who want to. You know take what? I want to meet the people who came up with this design and kiss them. Right. They sound amazing uh, and also smart. The other thing they've built into the system is uh, wherever this would be put in, ideally there's going to be sort of a channel on the on either side of the roadway, and that will allow for allow for room of all of the electronics and conduits that are going to have to supply voltage and communications to all of these panels. And they're also leaving enough room in these to relocate all of the utilities that are currently hung on utility poles. Oh, that's nice. Which is huge. Where are they rolling this out? It's still prototype. Like it's, it's still, still, it's still, still prototype. prototype. They are in Idaho, I believe, and they've put a bunch of it out in Idaho. And they have raised a million dollars. prototype. And so they started an Indiegogo, which is the news thing, mm -hmm. um, to further the prototype. Basically, um, the government gave them X amount of dollars and they want to keep going. And it seems like a very real thing at this point. So. This is more of a lobbying run, and they've raised over a million dollars. You know what would be amazing is if you could hack into the road and like That's clear the path. That's what I'm worried path. about. So like make a little. <laughs> That's HRV my only just concern. There are big signs to say there's zombies ahead. Yeah, security on this is going to be super fun. Yeah. Well, that's kind of an ongoing thing because I mean, well, the big concern like. I was saying, well, drop, uh, the Google's looking to buy Dropcam to help Nest, and they're right. like, right. And, and now finally, people are talking about, okay, we're gonna we're gonna optimize all this stuff in our homes, and uh, too bad we don't have to talk about this. We'll probably bring this up uh, on another show with him. What if somebody hacks your home? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about, I was reading, <laughs> I was reading up about the the solar panels earlier today because I I glanced over everything. I hadn't actually read anything. And it's really to the point where, because, you know, the easy argument is somebody's going to hack this and ruin the entire mm -hmm. infrastructure. The whole infrastructure of the United States, for the most part, except for people in Nebraska, is digital. Um, it can already be hacked if, if you really want to try that hard. And it's kind of something we just have to accept at a, as a risk at this point, because all of the technologies we've been using are centuries old. I mean, we just, uh, I think it was a couple months ago, we discovered a new mix for concrete and that was big news because uh, they dug up some some bits of an old Grecian civilization underwater, and they found a new mix of concrete that is more durable and requires less resources to produce than what we've been mixing for the last hundred years. That's great. To and it totally changed wow. it changed the concrete world, which sounds really boring, but it's a huge deal. But this is the speed that things are moving, and we're to the point where everything but the infrastructure we're sitting on top of. Mm -hmm. Is well, and you think about the power grid, I mean, uh, we're kind of lucky here where we are that it doesn't affect us the same way, but, you know, different parts of the northeast around us um, regularly lose, you know, oh, yeah. power issues well, uh, well, actually, in the summertime. Well, actually, Beachview, I actually had a good conversation with my uncle that works for Duke and Light uh, about, they were talking about power outages and stuff. It's like, yeah, that, that neighbor you're, you're in, like, gets gets hit a lot. You know, it's like, nice day. Where'd the power go? You know? Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, oh, yeah, the stations over there by McDonald's, they're, they're not bad. They're using the old. And they started, like, spitting out some lingo. I had no idea. Grandpa dude, because he's a Duquesne-like guy. He's like, I'm like, well, how, how long, how old is that stuff down there? He's like, so, uh, probably the 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy. And it, not only is it that old, but it um, isn't, uh, it's size-wise can barely handle the load that we put on it on a regular day mm -hmm. so it's really no surprise i mean it's, it's amazing that it holds up as well as it does yeah it wasn't built for things like air conditioning on fifty thousand households yes well, and everybody exactly. powering their phone all the time i mean yeah, just all exactly the, all of them. yeah well another kickstarter that uh i'm thinking of indiegogo this raised like a million dollars since the last time i looked at it yeah that, since like, last night when i looked last at night or something so reading rainbow i didn't know reading i didn't know reading rainbow, rainbow was still on the air until 2009 First of all, oh, wow. I had no With idea LeVar about Burton. that. With LeVar Burton, he's, right. he's, it's his own project. Um, si <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> Since, um, yeah, of course, they they did release a um, an iPad app that's been uh, pretty critically claimed. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, doing some cool stuff there. I mean, look at that face. How could you not want to give him a million dollars to make kids? Happy? That is true. That is true. Did he draw those little things? He's really talented. 
I don't know. It actually does show him drawing one of them on a on a thing in the video. Um, I'm not going to show the video because we're kind of laggy here. But um, uh, but yeah, first day they raised their million dollar goal. I, I saw the, uh, the iPhone video of them watching it. Go, you it know, just went lap up again. over. Just, just it, so you're it just went up since we've been. It's dynamically it. refreshing. Oh, it is dynamically yeah. refreshing. It's another forty bucks. Oh wow! This, this is, is a this are we little... helping by talking about it? That's another amazing. fifty bucks. No, because bucks. we're not broadcasting. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> wow, um, um, that's another one hundred and thirty dollars. They still have another thirty three days to go. This I is mean, crazy. He... That's another hundred bucks. <laughs> but, uh, but okay, what are you funding? It's not a comeback of like reading oh, Rainbow really? the show. It's actually um, they're looking to. Uh, Basically, you take the the, the, the the video stories that they would do for the show, uh, produce more of them, and actually they say put them online and in apps um, so anybody could access them and, and teach uh, school resources, teacher resources to use them in schools mm -hmm. um, and try to provide them all for free. Yeah. So pretty much they're using... Uh, the way they put it, it's just like you know, back in the day with PBS yep. viewers like you, but now it's via Kickstarter. They do offer a coffee mug, a, a tote bag, <laughs> some stickers. It's really just like PBS. No, no, even cooler because they talk about some of the like it, it gets up there here. Some, there there's, was one for like three thousand dollars. You could have a private dinner with LeBron. There's Bird. a there's a private dinner. <laughs> there's I'll give you a call. I'll do your there's voicemail. There's the Jordy Visor special. There's the Jordy Visor. He's like and he's like in the video and he pulls out this box. And he's like you might even get to wear this and he pulls out the <laughs> oh, visor. The original like, visor. Oh. I'm glad I just gave you five bucks. You get, to get dinner and you get to wear the visor. Yes. Yes. Because that's great because I know with my son's preschool, everyone or every classroom has iPads or they have some kind of tablet. Mm -hmm. The grade school he's going to, everyone has a smart board. They have the iPads. They have some kind of tablet, and it's it's a proof of fact that you know kids learn a lot easier using the tablets now because mm -hmm. it's so interactive. So something like this is fantastic for them. Yeah, and putting on on the net, like they, they're going to. I think initially they said target computers because that's easy. That's e that's the easiest place to put it. People, can, most people have a computer. Although I did see somebody saying you should really reconsider giving your million dollars to Levar Burton because they say, well, actually, uh, some stats said low income families, the kids are more prone to be on the internet and learning on a smartphone. That makes a lot of the sense. Parents more affordable. Yeah. Because because that's what they have because of you can get the Metro PCS yeah, I mean, and stuff, right? Realistically, if you want broad, like a much broader reach, mm -hmm. going as a website means you can reach all devices. Mm -hmm. Right? True. If true. you Four roll it out on a that's tablet they, if they, if they as do, like app specific, then you get into that problem. And if they do it the right way, uh, with responsive design and, and they do the media exactly, the right yeah. way, it, it can be on any device to it's be a matter like of that. connectivity and i mean there's there's mm -hmm. third world countries that have better internet than we do exactly so exactly and they're all on smartphones and, uh -huh. and you know uh -huh. ubuntu phones or whatever they're selling yeah. out there um but uh i don't know it's really cool I, i'm glad to see something that you know from our childhood that's you know that's still going and so much money <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's gone up by like is that like ten thousand dollars since we started looking I at it i think so it's at twenty two seventy five one eighty eight. it's a lot it's uh, it's a lot. It's more than twice their million yeah. dollar goal. Twenty two seventy five five twenty nine. <laughs> That's the rest amazing. of the show is just gonna be. Yeah. I, I think. Twenty two seventy five seven oh four. They're gonna be able to afford seven fourteen. I think they will make like every app possible with the money they're gonna get from this at this point. Because <laughs> is amazing. Holy crap! So Lavar Burton still doing really really awesome things. Really well. Um, what else we got? What else we got? I don't know. You know, I, I, I found a little bit of tech porn the other day. Mac and I don't know, you probably... You, I, I, they were talking about this on... People still listen to Mac Break? I listen to Mac Break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Tell us about what you learned on the internet. I learned on the internet from the Mac Who's Intel hosting show, Mac Break these days? Uh, the same people that did it three years ago. He's still alive? <laughs> with Leo the Fourth. Yeah. Yes. He will never die. Did that saga with his wife and his director ever? Uh, producer ever? Uh, no, nobody talks about it. This, is, this isn't tech news. I'm just saying. Any, anyways. <laughs> but everybody's just splintering off and starting their own networks now, so it's really interesting. Tom mm. Aaron's stuff's really good. He just like, took all of his shows, renamed them, and I listened to them instead. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Mm. Anyway, so the <laughs> X7A modular computer. Tell me more about this. It sounds like something from like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. It, it kind of it kind of does a little bit. Um so 
Look at the ports. There's a lot of ports on there. Oh my god. So we and, we got what do we got? We got Wait, wait, there's a list here. Oh. There's a list. By all means. Okay, okay go count them. Look at all we got our we got. HDMI. You got your Ethernet. You got looks like two DVI so mini display port thingies, right? Uh yeah, two display port, at two least, uh, four USB two point It looks like uh four three point so, are these guys? Th I I think it's SATA. Is, it a bit Is this SATA? SATA? Yeah, those look yeah, like yeah, SATA. USB 4.0, but they've got two USB 2.0 and two USB 2.0. Are they 1.0? One dedicated to a keyboard to a icon. Keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't it says forget, put your you keyboard here, nowhere else. But here, here's keyboard, the fun yeah. part. And yeah. wait a minute, what is that picture? They are eSATA. eSATA P3. eSATA, and that's where it goes. Uh, right on the back of your monitor. Hmm. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that a problem? Where'd they get that monitor? What I don't know. <laughs> Why does it have that big, like, like yeah, it's, jutting it's out got that spot there? Huh. Hmm. Cheapest monitor uh, they could find. No, this is one of the things they were bringing up, and, and there's the specs up there. Uh, oh, AMD awesome. Trinity Series, 2 3.2 gigahertz, Radeon, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 to a terabyte uh, SSDs. Um, I want to know what that looks like on the inside, because honestly, it looks big. What? Why do I, I know what's in there. You would think that it would be... Flatter, yeah, you would want to. Yeah, you want to make it more of a rectangle instead of a square, so it's tighter. I don't think, I don't think they're stupid, so they had a reason. What would it be? Uh, well, I mean, I can tell. So they used a, a VESA the one hundred millimeter pattern is what they're bolting to the back of the monitor with. Oh, I can tell you that. But and um, that's the that's, that's your the that's, that's your standard, standard if you're like if you yeah. I know I've done with Dell monitors. You take the back off. Yeah, I mean, you put another this one guy on. probably no 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 mounts no mounts no mounts no mounts no mounts. No mounts. That's but like, anyway, yeah, our, our cameras on uh, that thing we just moved. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the best amounts are uh, are mounting standard, so it's a best of 100, 300, 400, whatever. So, so, so those normal that. monitors, just about any monitor you get today, you'd be able to tack this computer on I'm a I'm going to say designed by engineers and not designed by industrial designers. That's my bet. Oh, look how pretty the array of little dots is. Mm -hmm. A little snoopiness. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, can't you They're see your, can't you see your arrays of Mac minis being replaced by this thing? How much is this thing? I have no idea. I didn't look. Hit the buy now. Okay, like, I'm gonna hit the buy now. Good. It's gonna be a fun exercise. <clears throat> no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Starts at uh, one thousand ninety nine dollars. <laughs> oh, the bar curtain. See if he'll buy some more. And Versus. it has what is that internal? Oh, because it's SSDs and all that nonsense. Mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Custom SSDs, is that what that is? Or is that a standard SSD form factor? I have no idea what an SSD looks like. Getting very nerdy. Yeah. It usually looks like a hard drive. Really? I, like I thought it looked like this. Made out of gears. I, I do know. like that. That's good to see. The, <laughs> the stock icons they have going on here is pretty fantastic. Open, is it, what's Open OpenSUSE? Open Seuss? Open Seuss? Is that Linux? That's Linux. Okay. Yeah. So, huh. You can get it Windows 7, Windows 8.1 Pro. 8.1. We have point one now. Yeah, we went. We're at I, eight point one. I don't install Windows on any machines. I, so I unfortunately really. do now. <laughs> now I have two of them. That's yeah. I, yeah, I know. I'm gonna keep they my thoughts the to myself. Back. They brought the start button yeah, back. Man. Look at it. No good thoughts. It's right down there. Oh, it's off the off the camera. Look, there's oh, a start there button. Oh, there it is. There Look, it is. It's, it's right there. And you have a touch screen too. And I have a touch screen too. Great. Yes. Mm. I have this computer because somebody else couldn't use it. So many opinions. Mm. We can share those opinions later. Uh, um, ooh, storage solution. <laughs> you get a hybrid drive or an accessory. Mini D, uh, Do you think maybe you can then put this on top? Maybe that's why it sticks out so it much. Probably, it's stackable. Look at that it thing. It nests is what it does, yeah. It's what it so does. then you just have a stack of these things. Mm, no? I'm not buying it. No? No. Uh, well, I guess you already it's have like attached back your monitor. And then you top, yeah. And then you can put a camera. You can just keep stacking things until it comes up from behind your monitor. Mm -hmm. And essentially, you've got a whole tower, if you will, that is a computer behind oh, your that's monitor. That's a novel idea. Right? I've never heard of it. So like screen, tower. Can you get darker outside? My my eyes have adjusted to the laptop right now. Yes, yes. So now I can <laughs> it's barely. It's a really bright laptop. It's, dark it's a really here. bright laptop. So I'm going to bring up this one. Fish um, on wheels. Fish I on saw wheels. Saw this before one? it was a Kickstarter. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know about this. Tell me about it. It's a tank of water with a fish in it. When the fish goes one way, that's the thing that it's on four wheels. So it's an aquarium on four wheels, and the fish drives the thing. That's it. That's your whole story. So if the fish swims that way, the whole thing goes that and way. And they... Turns around and goes the other way. Oh, they did not meet, meet their goal. They had, oh. uh, five, is that euros? That sign? 40,000 euros. 40,000 euros. Made. They they raised Why about 5,000. Why are they trying to sell this to people? To improve the lives of goldfish everywhere? In Europe. 
Just in Europe. Just in Europe. So just screw the rest of the goldfish. Apparently. They're in the Netherlands, uh, actually. Um, yeah, so... so we, they have a wine. They do have a wine. We decided to build a fish drivable car. Scroll back. What, what where are, are we? Oh, here? there is a wine. To okay. demonstrate that, sure, you demonstrated the thing. We recorded a movie, and then this thing happened. So they were having fun, and they wanted to see if everyone else wanted to have fun, and everyone guess. did not. What do you... So let's see. For 200 euros, uh, you get... A fish drivable vehicle. No you fish. Get one yourself. Do I have to provide my own price. fish? So basically, they're selling these things to people. This is a really horrible case of. Isn't that something like four hundred dollars? There isn't even yes. like a filter on this thing. You can't keep the fish in there. You got to move the fish to and from. So it's only like it's like. Mm. It's only when the fish wants to go somewhere. What if you have multiple fish? Do I what? What if yeah? Well, I don't need to to climatize myself to my vehicle. You don't have to put me in a plastic bag containing water before I can get in my car. But that makes a good point. What if you put two fish in there and they wanted to put different lengths? So what if you have multiple goldfish and you put Oscar in there? It probably could be won't fun. go very far. That could be fun. I think it'll be fun. And now we get into the stories that I didn't put it in. I don't Moving know if it was on. you or, I didn't put anything or the guy that left. So probably. we'll see what All right. we have here. Seat of our pants. All right. What about the uh, web documentary? Web documentary? Yeah, the guys from Bearded. Oh, that's a good thing. Starting the future is now. I think that that it just sold today. Did it? Mm -hmm. Go Pittsburgh. Here did. Future. So, so what is this? Kickstarter. Josh, why don't you tell you about Kickstarter Pelsman. is a website. No, I know what Kickstarter <laughs> is. <laughs> this guy. Oh. Future is now. Yeah, that. Well, they made thirty-five thousand of their nine thousand dollar goal. Not so. what you're Starting? looking at. No, this is something else. Good job, September 21st, 2013. <laughs> the future is... Uh, let's throw a Bearded Studios in there. Okay. Teaching Learning how to Google. This is a computer. Was mm -hmm. it a Kickstarter or the Indiegogo? That yeah. was a Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Uh, Frog Fractions, Bearded Studios... Uh, Twin Beard. Bearded Studio to yeah, Twitter? Yeah, do, do that. That's probably that could be good. easiest that way could to be. send you a link. Step by step by step. Uh, no. No, no, no that's reading rainbow. That. That's reading rainbow. We already did that story. Uh, help <coughs> with the documentary. Click the like. Click the, the that guy. There you go. That guy there. Uh, what comes next is the future by Matt Braun and Matt Griffin. Yeah, yeah that's it. They're nice dudes. Okay. Uh, Fifty-nine thousand of their fifty-five thousand dollar goal. Five hundred thirty-six backers. So let's do some scrolling here. Uh, there's some people. A friend of mine works there. Carolyn. Yeah, this is like all sorts of Pittsburgh, too. It's all so all is this like a web designer's? All sorts of Pittsburgh. Like, no, it's a history or, of the web. Of the web yeah, in general. By web designers. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it is like kind of design focused. No webs. No, Designing with web standards. No, I don't, I'm sure they'll take a bigger look at it. That guy. Design that we know yeah. Like yeah. Zelda. Zelda. This guy here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Who's from Pittsburgh? If anybody cares. <laughs> from Pittsburgh? Okay. Yes. Awesome. The, the internet was born in Pittsburgh. So go check out Kickstarter. Look up uh, what comes next is the future. Yes. And you have 36 hours to do it. 36 and you have hours. 36 hours. To, to double it. One dollar uh, minimum. Can we, can we to jump Burton? in there? Let's take the bar Burton down. Let's show <laughs> Take that LeVar uh, Burton. I wouldn't hold on to that. Josh, do you have a cameo in this? No, I didn't. Oh. No cameo? No. Well, cameo. it hasn't been filmed yet, has it? Uh, parts of it. Parts of it. No. For Probably like we preliminary have stuff. Yeah. Nothing. Like, Jason and Valor in it. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. What, what, uh, what else is uh, on the internet? Here? I don't know. I didn't put these things here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Turn any TV into an Android device. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, you could just unplug it. Well, we, we... <laughs> <laughs> is this another Kickstarter? You're just making friends left and right today. Boom. Uh, you know what? We haven't had this level of sass on the show. Sass. For, uh, I'm happy to bring Sass to the conversation. Well, this looks like it's another ki uh, Chromecast. It looks like of. a Chromecast, but with a fun remote. It costs twice as much. And it costs twice go. as much. Twice as much. $90 device by Barry? B -E -R -I. Barry. Barry. I, mean, I could argue Barry. that the most annoying part of Chromecast is that you have to use your laptop or your phone sure. or something to run it. You know it what? I only, that I only find that annoying when somebody calls me. Hmm. People call you? <laughs> My grandfather just did, didn't he? That's not a good example. And my response. Google Voice. I made a joke that's like you don't have friends, and you replied by telling me that your grandfather called you. Oh. 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 It's okay. 
He tells the greatest stories. I'm sure he does. About riding, <laughs> about riding the old trolley the on old Sundays trolley. when he get the pa- the day pass from all the people day from pass. downtown. Wow. And ride all the way out the library and back. <laughs> Gone to a dark place. <laughs> Apparently the 30s. Uh, um, so, so this is a... Uh, Berai. Berry? So, so it can just... It can run yeah, so it looks like you would have on an It's B-Berry, right. actually. B, B, there's two Bs. Oh, there's two Bs. Yeah. Berry. That's a horrible look. So, is it French? It's really horrible. It's good you come in. You guys That's not the worst thing oh, we've, we've made fun of here. said much worse. We've um, worse today. Today. So it's a it's a it's an HDMI dongle like your Chromecast, but yeah, yeah it has its own kind of controller uh, with a nice keyboard on the it's back. A dongle which, with uh, a remote, and then it launches Android. So on it takes TV. it takes the best so the aspect. What's that? So you can put apps on it. I think uh, the apps are on the dongle. It looks like. Yeah, I don't know if you yep. you so can get them, you can get to your apps? well yeah well you get your apps it's 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 Android so, so it just takes Android apps Android which store. seemed like a great idea. So like if you have apps on your Android phone, you could just have them also be here. You wouldn't have to buy them again. It looks like because well in the example they're giving oh, here, you got your Facebook, you got your LinkedIn, you got your Hangouts. This so is what you want it to look. I think is how, is what yeah. I'm asking. How ought it to work? What is that heart thing? What is that? iHeartRadio. Oh sure, sure. Of course you'd want that. Hulu, yeah, yeah, music, Google Maps, because uh, you want to see your directions on. So wait, if it has Hangouts, does it have a camera built in somewhere? I don't. I mean, it has a. Hmm. I don't think so. No, it can't really. No, not really. Yeah, and there aren't many TVs these days that have uh, their promo photo there. That's a Samsung Seven Thousand series, and that doesn't have a camera. No, 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 <laughs> not have no. A ca- it's a very nice TV. It does not have a camera. So, well, that was fun. <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> Oh, idea. oh! I, I saw this one actually uh, today. Uh, Skype is going to do language translation. Real-time. There's apps that do this. Well, there are apps that do this, but in the example they're giving, um, this was not a link with the video. I think you got a different one in here. Mm-hmm. But uh, you, you say you say something, uh-huh. and it, it feels like a general Skype lag. Sure. You know that you're used to. That you expect. But it's 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 spitting out on the other side uh, what you said in German it's for them audio. to respond. You're on. Uh, yeah, it's it's saying audio. an audio. Uh, this is the best thing we've talked about it because I can now turn myself into a, an Italian lady with a very sexy voice. I think this sounds amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, See. See. <laughs> See. And apparently, this is something they've been working on for a while um, um, with their their. You know, R&D departments before I think they even had Skype. Um, and I don't know, and they showed it off at the the uh, uh, code conference, which I guess is the all things D replacement. Yes, yes. yes. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be fun. It, it, it's, it's something that makes Skype interesting. Um, but it's going <laughs> to, right? Yeah. Because it's general inconsistencies didn't make it yeah, all interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one comment today I kind of agree with. Like, I kind of wish they were taking all this horsepower and applying it towards, you know, reliability. Making it work. Yeah, making it work all the time. Work. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, now it can work in a different, can not work in a different language. Right. You can now have high expectations and have them completely Here's, here's another way. interesting thing I heard. They were talking about how... Um, translation. Uh, <laughs> I believe... <laughs> I believe it was this project that they were talking about. Oh. They they started with um, uh, one language and then they st- started adding another one, and it made the first language better. That's the, weird. Their reception for it, and they started adding another language, and it made it made the uh, recognition better on the previous languages. So, and oh. they said, "We don't know how it happened." Huh. No, it's the artificial intelligence. I just saw her. It's becoming so sentient. So it's going to be sentient, and then it's going to leave. And That's we will have no Skype. Yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> oh, then, I, I spoiled that for anybody. The reason, so the reason it won't, it never works, is because it never wants to. Work. What I want to see. Now, now we don't have to. Well, <laughs> do I gotta put a spoil, spoiler I know, alert? I just, I'm spoiler so alert. excited by it. I'm so sorry. Uh, I was excited to see what the point was with that. that out. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll just bleep it out. I'll just bleep it out. <laughs> Cough button. Um, yes. What else is so? Any stories come up this week? You guys uh, cut your cut your interest. I don't read tech news anymore. You don't read tech. Wait, you're too busy making stuff. I, I'm yeah. honestly too busy. You are the news. I am the news. <laughs> <laughs> when we started the show, yeah. uh, it was fun because we had we had a newspaper guy and you were writing for MacWorld. Uh, back when I wrote for MacWorld, it sounded like we were pretty legitimate. It did sound with. pretty legitimate. Now you play with fireworks. I don't play with fireworks. Well, 
you help other people play with fireworks. I mean, it's kind of a funny thing. At some point, you get left behind the curtain of fireworks, mm -hmm. and it's just not a big deal anymore. Hmm. So, like, these giant flame cannons were, like, attached to my laptop, just plugged in. Mm -hmm. Not a big deal. And, uh, and there's a guy at Pyro who, uh, Doug, who is the guy who runs all the stuff there. They're a massive company. They have 18 locations in the U.S., I think, 1,000 technicians, and they put on over 1,000 shows per year. They do all the shows for Disney. They do all the stuff for Justin Timberlake. Jeez. They do, like, not just fireworks. They do lasers. They do light effects. They do literally everything. And I'm just hanging out next to this guy, and it's a half hour before we're going to go live, and he finally lets me play with the flame pot. And he just kind of tells me what to do, and I just put it in my laptop, and I press some keys, and I'm firing fire cannons. And we're like, he gives me the thumbs up, I give him a thumbs up, and he walks away. And that's it. It's almost like just it's getting a, a video game, it's just that it's in real life. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, doot, doot, and all right, it works. Well, all right, that's how that goes. And to be fair, the first time I hooked up to it, because uh, he was frantic and I was frantic, and we, we weren't really communicating the same device that was controlling my flame cannons was also controlling some t-shirt cannons. Uh -oh. <laughs> and, uh -oh. and so I'm telling him how I can control the device and the channels and, and nerdy stuff involved. And he's telling me what he expects and like, no, it's on this and this. Don't think of it that way. And I was like, no, this is how it works. And I'm like, okay, well, if I do this, he's like, okay, well, give me a pilot light. And I go to give him a pilot light because that's how the propane cannon works is they keep a pilot light on then you give them a burst of propane and i give a pilot light and i get a 30 foot tall flame and four t-shirts fly into the crowd but the flame the t-shirts are not on fire but the t-shirts are not on fire because they didn't i really wanted them to place it the other way around <laughs> they had the t-shirt cannons in front of the flame that goes straight up i wanted them to angle the t-shirt cannons over the flame pot so i could fire flaming t-shirts into the crowd that would be amazing you know what would be interesting i wonder if you could take that fish in the wheeled cart uh-huh can, can the can you make it so the fish can control the fireworks oh sure <laughs> i can totally the do fish, that the fish goes this way it shoots off this that's easy t-shirt cannon this way Oh, yeah. It's a computer yeah. vision yeah. challenge. Yeah. Awesome. I like that the juxtaposition of the fish in the water and the flames. I like that too. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> Where can people find out more about the insane stuff you're working on? Uh, IonTank.com. Uh, follow me on Twitter because I'm terrible at updating the IonTank Twitter account. Because some jerk has been sitting on the IonTank Twitter handle for years. Hmm. Can't can't get can't get them off. So we're ion underscore tank, so I don't even bother. Stupid underscore. It's really dumb. You're just so mad about that underscore you're just not gonna I just don't it. do it. Um I'll, I post an insane amount of things on Instagram, which is essentially what my Tumblr is now. It all crosses over. Um and that's uh yeah, yeah. that's that's it. That's Iron Tank, that's me. Alright. Cindy? Can people um, find your stuff? Uh what I'm I'm doing real businessy kind of I mean very businessy. Very businessy. <laughs> It's very businessy, very networking, lots of business cards being exchanged. I'm even maybe getting letterhead. So, so retrograde. Embossed or not? Uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Blue cards makes fun boss. Then probably. <laughs> well then, <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> uh, but so so but so life is good. Um, but not a lot of exciting stuff. Uh, but if you want to follow me doing my non-exciting things, uh, the company is. Still big, big design, uh, dot com, and uh, my name is Cynthia Klosky on Twitter. Awesome. Doug? Well, as Josh just mentioned, my bid to buy the LA Clippers has failed. And uh, <laughs> Steve Ballmer has purchased the LA Clippers for $2 billion. Did he, billion, did he use Kickstarter? As of, uh, I think, a couple hours ago. Oh, so wow. So that, there's your break. So news. first beats, now this. <laughs> Man. We didn't even talk about beats. No, we didn't. I kind of don't want to. Nobody, 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 nobody wants, wants to about talk about it. No. I think my 1999 Sony Hedgehog version is some of the beats, but that's just me. Hmm. I've already seen the Dre old rap song references, and I'm done. Hmm. Yeah, I'm done. Like, I saw that all the head bad headlines, and I know in like three months when it finally closes, it's going to be even worse. So, as long as he gets his payday, yeah, whatever. That's fine. God bless his. Hey. Well, Rat's first billionaire. That is true. So. Pretty open well flavor, but. Flavor, <laughs> flavor. So you can catch me on Twitter, but actually go to at SIDT. That's kind of our public account for Should I Drink That? Um, I talked to, actually talked to Sick Puppy yesterday, or two days ago, or Brad, or whatever he's doing right now. And um, he's gonna his sabbatical is going to be going a little bit longer than we anticipated, so uh, we might become a weekly show. Ooh. 
If it's so much beer, I can stock up in my house. Really? Uh, see. Since see, he's not there see, to drink it. See, our shows haven't like needed a budget for materials like your says. We just show up, we have things to talk about, and we're good. Well, it, see, it depends, because sometimes breweries will send us beer, mm -hmm. which is fantastic, and I'll never complain about that. Um, but every once in a while, we do have to buy beers. But what the problem that we ran into is, Sick Puppy was on the road for a while, bought probably about two cases worth of beer, brought it back after each trip. No. And that's my phone. It's probably him when I'm talking to him. And uh, so we have the surplus of beer, but if we don't drink it soon, uh, the beer season start to go bad, which it does, so... Looks like I'm gonna be sitting at home. Two shows, home. two shows a day. <laughs> you know, if that's, what, if that's what I have to do after the kids go to bed at night. It's a sacrifice. Or my sacrifice for my art yeah. is to drink beer and talk it's about it. Like it's for the greater good. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But it's, uh, it's everything is going well. Uh, S at S I D T on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Should I Drink That. Just go to Should I Drink That .com and there's a link to all of our all kinds sites. of stuff there. It's, it's everything. Yeah, there. we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. I probably need an account at some point. Uh, big thanks to Slice on Broadway for hosting us here. We got to take over the top of the awesome place, watching the train go by out the window and everything. Uh, and, of course, you can check out everything. Uh, we're usually here on uh, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. on sort live at SorgatronMedia.com and Awesome Cast on the Twitters, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all over the place. Go ahead and comment. And let us know any stories you want us to talk about during the week. And we post a lot that uh, we end up talking about on the show. Uh, we're on the iTunes, not that, not that, YouTube, Spreaker, all kinds of other places. Uh, thank you for ever joining us. Thank you for everybody joining us here live through the night. Some of them went home, unfortunately. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you. We'll see our awesome chat room next week. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Awesome!